This video is going to address a problem that some of you may be having uh, when you're opening an audio file from your cell phone. Many of your cell phones are going to record to an M4A audio file, which is MPEG-4 audio, and uh, Audacity does not have the necessary codecs to be able to install that. Let me show you the error that many of you are going to get. If we go to File, Import, Audio, and we try to bring in an M4A audio file, we're going to get this error. It says Audacity attempted to use FFmpeg to import an audio file, but the libraries were not found. So, what we're going to do is we're going to install those libraries. It's very simple. Uh, just tell that OK. Uh, go ahead and close that file that it brought in. Uh, we're obviously working on a Mac, so drop down the Audacity tab and go to Preferences. Go down to where it says Libraries, and now you'll see the FFmpeg library. Of course, this is the MP3 library up here. We've already done that, so let's we're going to install this library now. Uh, just click on the button that says Download, and it's going to take you to this page. We've, of course, seen this page before, so we're not going to use the Windows download. We're going to go to the one for Mac OS X. So click on the download page. And this one right here, we've already done. So we're going to use this one right here, the second one. FFmpeg 2.2.2. Click on the DMG version. And give it a second or two to download. Depending upon your connection speed, this may take a few seconds or a couple minutes. Right now, it seems like the Wi-Fi at the college is running a bit slow, so it's going to take, take a little time. Okay, so once that is done, go ahead and open it. run the package and we get a little error okay so some of you may get this error uh, basically it does not want to run this program because it doesn't know who, the, the computer doesn't know who made this so that's okay uh, just hit okay on that error uh, if you did not get the error just proceed with the installation but if you did go ahead and hit okay go to your Apple button click on system preferences and go to security and privacy. Now, uh, what's interesting is uh, down here it knows the last app or the last uh, program we tried to run, uh, and it says it was blocked. And so we can just hit open anyway, and it's going to run it. So now we can run through the install process. Click continue, continue, and on this one we're just going to let it install to the default location. Installation is done. Let's go back to Audacity. And if we hit the Locate button, it's going to say Success. It has automatically detected the valid FFmpeg libraries. Do you still want to locate, it, locate them uh, manually? Just say No. And OK. Now, let's try to open that M4A audio file. Success. No errors. So that's all you have to do.